females come out and play. You know we got to do a remix, right? This is, this is damn shame you ain't on the boat. Hey, this is Emily from Valentine. You are listening to In Tune with Tiva on VIM Radio Network. What's up with it? This is Malik Sakee. This is Tiffany Janae from Organic Blood TV on YouTube. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Shy, and I'm with the greatest host in the world, T Mill. DJ Scoop the Party Life Saver, and I'm chilling with my man T Mill on T Mill Radio. You're rocking with T Mill on In Tune with T Mill, reminding you to change the status quo with yes. T Mill Radio every Tuesday and Tuesday Thursday. And Thursday. You are listening to In Tune with T Mill. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show, everyone. It is Saturday, August the 31st, 2013, and you are in tune with T-Mill. You will now be encouraged and entertained. Nothing will change until you change something. I'm your host, T-Mill, for the night, and this is a very special edition, and it is another very special episode because it is a new season of In Tune with T-Mill right here on Paradox East Radio, hosted by Blog Talk Radio. We're back on Blog Talk. It's been a minute. It's been a long time. But I told you guys we were coming back. And the interview tonight is very special because I wish you guys could have heard and and were able to capture the... This is actually a redo interview because the first interview, there was a lot of technical difficulties, so I apologize for that, but... I guarantee you this interview is going to be just as great, if not better. I don't know. I'm not one of those people that tell you it's going to be better than the last time because if I could tell the future, I would have hit the lotto yesterday. All right? So, without any further ado, you guys, welcome to the show. Thank you guys for all of your support. This is In Tune with T-Mill, talking with indie artists and entrepreneurs all across the globe from all walks of life, all genres, And this is a special edition that I sometimes like to call In Tune with Jazz because though I come from a music background of soul and hip-hop, I also come from a like and love of jazz music. It's in my blood. It's in my soul. I just I love it. And there's so much music out there from the jazz realm that I I would be selfish not to share it with you guys. And especially once I was able to meet and become friends with Kate Smith, a very good friend of the show, um, who's introduced me to a world of jazz artists, musicians, performers that I would have no clue existed. Um, So that's my job, and that's a responsibility that I pretty much enjoy. So sharing this music with you guys each and every week or each and every month, however often, is a treat and a delight for me, and just as it is for me, I hope that it is for you guys to share, talk about it, support it, and keep it going. So, my guest tonight is an extraordinary artist and performer, straight ahead jazz, free improvisation, and centuries old tradition of circle singing are some of what you can expect to hear. A nationally recognized music therapist and educator, Her album, VA, is nothing short of a -a once-in-a-lifetime experience, truly a treat for the ears and the soul. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, Virginia Shank is in tune with T-Mill. How you doing? Hey, T-Mill. Well, what a fabulous introduction. Um, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fantastic and excited we got to do this again because I got to tell you, I went back and listened to the, the first interview that we did, and I was so upset. I kept trying to doctor it up, and I was like, oh, my God, this interview is outstanding. But uh, there was just so many technical difficulties from my end uh, with my microphone and everything. So I'm excited for people to to be able to, to meet you and discover your music and for the chance for us to hang out again. So I'm excited. Absolutely, me too. And I'm glad that we were able to do it, you know, in not too long a time. So um, it's 
it's terrific. It's Labor Day weekend, you know. People are Absolutely. excited about that. And here goes fall and your new show. And, um, hey, I wanted to uh, just shout out to Kate Smith. You said she's turned you on to, you know, some jazz, and I sure Absolutely. appreciate that. Um, you know, when I think of jazz, I think of, you know, the roots of so much music, you know, that hip-hop came out of that, you know, of course, blues being part of that. And, um, you know, all those genres, even if we keep them in the box of a genre, um, tell us one thing, but then we blend and we morph and we grow into all sorts of things of where we are today and, and even where music's taking us and we don't even know where that is yet. And that's what's exciting about it because, there are those out there that that think you know that that are a little bit discouraged uh, you know with with some music and sort of the landscape of it now but i'm an optimistic like i really think anything can happen i'm one of those people that that i think i can fly i just haven't figured it out yet so i think music yeah. has a lot of different things that we can't even fathom to to th- that is on the horizon a lot of things that we don't expect or that we haven't even dreamed of and so i'm just i'm just excited for the ride and to be able to uh to find such gems across this road such as yourself and so many others that i'm just excited to 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 be here to be a witness to it and just to share it with everyone well and we need you and we're you know grateful for you for um for having the opportunity for us to share um you know and i think of music as just being organic you know when you're talking about some people being frustrated you know, there are ebbs and flows of style and change and, you know, whatever it is that turns you on, you know, just if you're not hearing anything you like, just keep listening and it's probably around the corner. So, you know, and then for those of us who are artists, it's it's infinite, you know, the endless possibilities of what we could do next, as long as we remember that and stay fresh and keep digging. Absolutely. And, and, I want everyone to to take note of this. If if you don't have or you haven't found any music that you truly love, that you have a passion for, that you like, you know, it doesn't give you the same feeling or emotion, I'm here to tell you, just dig a little deeper. Just, I mean, just keep going. Ask around the family and friends. Pull strangers off the street. Ask them what they're listening to. Whatever you've got to do, because I guarantee you, this world is too big, too vast for for you to not have any music that you love. There's just too Absolutely. much music out there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm with you, T-Mill. Absolutely. So let's talk about the music of Virginia Shank and your album, VA. Um, speaking of that, I want to ask you, how are the songs selected and, you know, just some of the songs that you have on there? And I have a few of my favorites uh, that I'm going to play during the show uh, here. Um, in particular, Long As You're Living, uh, Round Midnight and Do Something. Those three stood out to me. I'm not sure as anyone else, but if you could just tell us, you know, how the songs were selected and just kind of the process you went through putting this album together. Well, I was working on some music, and, you know, just over the years I hadn't done a recording, and I just looked down at my list and I said, you know, I really think I've got something here. And, um, I had been singing around midnight since college days, um, but I really wanted to do it just with um, bass and voice. So, you know, fabulously have Rodney Jordan there um, on bass with me. And, um, boy, I think we brought it. What can I say? <laughs> so we put it Absolutely. out there. Absolutely. Um, that feeling of, you know, around midnight, and y'all just listen and see what you think. Um do something I heard. It's it's so funny. It's actually from Betty Boop, the cartoon. It's that old. <laughs> and then Betty Carter got a hold of it. And if you guys go listen to that, well, she's got her Betty Carter, ooh, her thing going on. And then um, one of my peers, Kate McGarry, um, also does this song. And so then I just was inspired because I think it's so fun and playful. And I love mm-hmm. the swing of it. So I, you know, did my did my own take on the lyrics and the arrangement. Um, so that's how that came about. And then, long as you're living, oddly enough, I added like a month before we went to recording. <laughs> and um, it's like, you know, whether it's ready or not, let's do it. And then I was so pleased with how it came out that we put it as number one. So it's the first one on mm. the CD. 
and such a great selection for number one because it sort of sets the the rhythm and sort of the tone I think for for the album. And so it's kind of that okay, this is you know it's it's one of the it's an appetizer, you know. So it's one of those things where you like okay, this is good, this is great. I can't wait to to hear what's next um, and to kind of set the tone, nice. which I think is a great selection. So the um, the, so I mean, how how have you how how has the album been received? You know, what feedback have you got from fans, both new and that have that have been with you throughout your career? What has been some of the feedback that you've got from this album? Oh, oh wow! Well, the feedback has been tremendous. I mean, first of all, you know, Sheila Jordan, who's a 2012 NEA Jazz Master. She gave me a great review and endorsement. Um, Wayne Wallace, who has also got a new hot CD out right now, he gave me a nice endorsement. And, um, oh, and Jamo Wallace. from the yeah. Allman Brothers. Yeah. Um, so, you know, um, with Kate Smith behind me, I, you know, it helps to have a radio promoter, I will say, but, you know, it's been played around the world and there's some just wonderful reviews. You're welcome to go to my website and, take a look at what people are saying and people are pretty wowed by it i have to say and you know back to that first tune long as you're living as as y'all hopefully will listen to it um it speaks about you know don't wait around too long you know so it's like i kind of did wait a while to do the cd but you know live while you can because this is it folks this is the ride Absolutely. That you know what, and and I kind of think that that title, "Long as You're Living," is one of those tunes that you know you kind of wake up to in the morning, or you, you know the drive to work, or you know just kind of one of those things to where the older we get, you know, we we sometimes tend to 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 block out all of our dreams and imaginations and things like that. Oh, I'm too old to do this. Uh, you know, I can't never do too this old. anymore and things like that. <laughs> you're never too old. You're never too weak. You're never too anything. I mean, there's the possibilities are endless. So that song is kind of the, uh, I would say, the soundtrack, a good a good morning piece or, a, you know, any any one of those times of the day where you just kind of feel like getting a pat on the back and getting a little bit of encouragement to do whatever it is that you want to do. So as long as you well, live in Jewish. <laughs> right on. That's what I think. <laughs> Absolutely. And, okay, now tell us about the soundscapes you created for a play that was titled The Gift and a 24-hour multi-art celebration called Singing Dawn. Singing Darwin, as in Singing the Darwin. origin oh. of species. Yeah. Um, Singing Darwin was at Virginia Tech, and it was um, – the year, the I guess it was the 100th year anniversary of um, his writing, The Origin of Species, that was a few years ago. And um, one of the professors up there had um, this 24-hour multi-art celebration, and um, I was one of the guest vocalists, and we, we improvised for about 24 hours. We did take breaks. Um, um, because there were other art mediums going on. But we would use some of the text from the Origin of Species, and depending on what was going on, somebody brought in um, bone whale, you know, wh- whale bones, you know, and all sorts. So it just depended on what was going on or who was in the room at the time, just totally being in the moment. And then the gift is um, ongoing. The playwright, Denise kamani Gant is still... Um, and some rewrites of that and looking for a new location. So really hoping to get to do that um, play again. But it covers five generations of African to African-American women from past, present, into future. Mm. And so we do use some, yeah, it's really powerful. I I just, I hope that we really get to do this again and that you all can come see it. Um, we did it in Seattle, and we did a, a reading um, in New York at the Drama League. Um, but the, so we, there are three of us who have been singing in it, and um, we use some spirituals, but it's just like, you know, you might touch in and get a hint of it or a few minutes of it, and then we're off to wherever, again, wherever the play is taking us, what the scene is. Um, there's, a, you know, the storm of Katrina. There is um, a rape scene. There is wailing. There is... Um, 
you know, of course, some redemption too um, and hope. So, you know, it just depends, you know, what the the mood or where you are in the play um, mm-hmm. as to what we create. Yeah. Wow. Talk about an experience. Now, for everything that's out there, I mean, I think – I think you have to do something, you know, to experience something like that, to to see that all, everything that you just mentioned, to see that all that manifest within, you know, both before your eyes and then to be able to to to, to see that, um, you know, brought to you in that form. I mean, I don't. I, I mean, words can't describe how interested I am in that. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to look into that a lot more. Um, that, that sounds Please very do. interesting. Yeah. We got to keep tabs on yeah. that. <laughs> right on. Now, uh, speaking of which, we, we talked about um, earlier before, you, you know, just reading about some of the different some of the different ways we can hear your music, you know, whether it be through straight ahead jazz or improvisation. And then one that that, that struck my curiosity was circle singing. And I briefly remember watching something on PBS or some other channel where it may have been that or something close to it. But so I can get the correct, you know, definition or the correct uh, meaning of it, what exactly is circle singing? Okay, well, thanks for asking. Circle singing is um, get improvised in the moment. It can be, it usually needs at least three people, but it can be a whole choir in um, various voice form. Um, But it's improvised in the moment, and typically the leader hands out an improvised riff, if you will, and builds on that riff all the way around until everybody is singing in harmony, in counterpoint, et cetera. You may or may not have, you may or may not have a soloist in the middle, um, but this is attributed, I want to give total credit to Bobby McFerrin because um, it's really taken from s- some of our more primitive cultures or practices um, from Africa, really, where it would be the tribe, it would be the village, it would be the shaman leading us um, in celebrating the harvest, in celebrating a newborn baby's birth, in mourning somebody who's died, and everybody would be singing. Um, So it's a really foreign concept, really, that there's some of us who are singers and musicians and some of us who aren't. It's like everybody is. (laughs) Everybody does this, you know. So Bobby has really brought this back to life, and um, I was fortunate to be able to study with him um, to learn this. And so then I've incorporated it. um, Well, even in the play, the three of us there um, are familiar with circle singing and um, and then in my therapeutic work, which I think maybe you want to speak about. I mean, absolutely, because speaking of that, I, I, I think it's, and I could be wrong, but the concept, what I'm understanding about circle singing and then what I'm understanding about it, it to me it seems that it's very therapeutic, not only for for whatever reason. I mean, I, I think it could even, you know, heal you know, ailments or, you know, emotions or, you know, just whatever, because to me it's just kind of raw therapy to whereas, yeah, you could go sit down in a chair and talk with somebody about your problems or, you know, I don't know, find your problems in the bottom of a bottle or whatever, but it, it seems to of a more natural way to to express yourself. You know, it's just one of those alternatives to where, so if it's circle singing or in the same fashion that a, a music conductor you know, expresses the emotion of a song, you know, through her baton or his baton, you know, and just that kind of unspoken, you know, you're not saying it through words. It may be just be a voice or it's a melody or, like you said, a riff and things like that. And so mm-hmm. I think, you know, when you talk about therapy, that's kind of one of the raw, natural ways to which I understand of to, you know, to to either be happy or to, you know, to to meditate or anything like that. So what now exactly for music therapy? You uh, you mentioned before, and uh, we were talking about um, a description of your therapeutic work was published in the International Dictionary of Music Therapy, which is available on Amazon. Tell tell us about that. What is music therapy? 
Well, music therapy is an accredited field, and, um, you know, there are many people who use music in healing ways, and music, to me, inherently is healing, just kind of as you were speaking. But there is a degree, um, which which I have, uh, my undergraduate degree in music therapy, which really gets, gave me all the psychological training, the special education training, and the music training to work in hospitals and document and write medical notes and psychological notes, et cetera, um, so that it could be accountable. Um, so, so that's kind of the difference is really being credentialed and making it quite legitimate. Um, mm-hmm. So that's, um, that's what I did early in my career. Um, I still do um, some contract work, and I also do some continuing education for music therapists in using improvisation because it just has gotten to be where, to me, it's the most powerful thing. Um, you know, and I was thinking about when you were you were talking about it, um, in, in India and some of our more um, cultures that have held on to their heritage for so long, there's no such thing as music not being available to everybody. There's no such thing as music not being sacred, if you will. There's no such thing, there's no division between, like, sacred and secular. It's just, it's all part of nature, it's all part of the universe, it's all one. Um, So um, that's what I really love about the circle thing is that, because I think in our Western culture we've gotten a little bit divided that way, and it brings everybody in. Yeah. So it can just bring everybody in and very quickly. Um, and you're right. I mean, we just know from breathing like that when you're singing that it um, does all sorts of things to serotonin levels and your endorphins and then the group feeling that also adds to that. And then being able to express yourself and being supported, it's just tremendous. It really is. And I think anyone, because I'm very interested in the first chance that I get to participate I'm down. So, um, you know, with and, and I'm glad you said that because there's, you know, between the when you mentioned about sacred and secular, you know, and just kind of those lines and some of those things that that we've we've come to, you know, maybe start to divide us in some of the things that people, you know, kind of limit themselves in in the sense of uh, of expression. I mean, it's you know, it's, it's as long as it's safe, you know. Expression is is great, right. I think, and it's one of those things that I think we need um, to. I, I think it's just, I, th- I think it's right and it's natural, and it's one of those things where it's it, it's kind of necessary every now and then. And so, you know, doing something like circle singing or uh, just singing a song or writing a poem or whatever expression it is it doesn't have to be necessarily singing or art. It could be dancing or it could be I don't know cooking. Anything, absolutely. You know, just doing right. that, whatever it is, it could, it could. I don't know. It just, I, I guess, it releases, and and just kind of allows a, a piece of your life to to fit, you know, to fit in, so to speak. So that is very interesting. And you know, for for those that are interested, and I know that I titled the show, you know, music therapy and education, but. The reason for that is I wanted you guys to kind of learn some of the different avenues and just some of the different things that you know that artists are involved in or that are uh, that are introducing or that they are a part of. And so with Virginia Shank, you are you are a part of so much, and not only are you just doing music, but there's so many different facets to your music. So I wanted you to not only teach myself, but others and you know, that'll be our therapy. That's our therapy to to know that, okay, these are the different things that you can experience. These are th- some of the things that are out there that you can learn about. And, you know, just in today, you have taught me and every other listener so much, not only about your music, but just your perspective of things and some of the other things that are just out there. So absolutely, I, I'm very appreciative of that. Well, great. Thanks, T. Mill, and I'm appreciative for, you know, your interest, and I'm happy to share, of course. Now, uh, before we leave, I'm, I want you, I would like you to choose which of these songs that we could, uh, 
that we could leave the show out. No, also now, guys, if you guys have any questions, uh, you guys could also call in at one three four seven nine eight nine eight three one seven. Again, the number to call in is one three four seven nine eight nine eight three one seven. And you guys could call in with your question. Uh, thank you to the guests that are in the chat room and that are logging in and those that are uh, listening. So really appreciate that, guys. Um, and, or if you're listening to the show or the archive and you happen to have a question that you aren't able to ask on the show, by all means, send us an email, write a comment on the page. I'm always looking. I'm always reading. And I will definitely get it to Virginia ASAP. And and have her be able to answer that for you. Uh, the website is virginiashank.com. Make sure you guys log on. It is Virginia S C H E N C K. That is S C H E N C K dot com, or on Facebook at Virginia Shank to keep up with all things Virginia Shank. And uh, I do have three songs here loaded up, as I told you. Long as you're living, round midnight, and do something. And uh, what I'd like to do is like you to choose one of those songs for us to close the show out with and just kind of give us, you know, maybe some, well, you gave us some insight on those, but maybe give us a reason to why you're choosing that song. Well, I think as pertains to our conversation today, um, you know, I feel pretty passionate about living and um, in all aspects of creativity and finding new ways to live. So let's do as long as you're living. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Virginia. I hope this is not the last time that we speak. I'm looking very forward to to more music and to, uh, to hopefully one day I can catch that play and participate in some circle singing. I'm, I'm definitely... Uh, looking forward to that. Did you have anything that you wanted to leave with us? Any um, any shout outs or any upcoming events or performances? Well, I'm based in Atlanta, so I'll just say that I do travel for my work. Um, um, you know, look for me in Atlanta at Churchill Grounds, the Velvet Note, um, et cetera. Or again, check my website and see where I'm going to be. Um, I definitely travel the Southeast. I'll be in Orlando in November. Um, yeah, so just just check, updating all the time. Absolutely. Thank you for hanging out with us, and we are going to leave with Long As You're Living. Virginia Shank is in tune with T. Mill. Yeah, see, see you guys speech, next time. There is something that I want to say, a message that I hope will reach people who are throwing life away. Call it my philosophy. That is why I pass it on to you, because it works so well for me. Helps me get away from strife. Hope you listen carefully. Say the truth will make you free. That's the way I want to be. Because, brother, this is your life. Long as you're living, always remember, time is for spending, but there's an ending. While you are sleeping, life is a creeping, wake up and taste it, live to waste it. Sample and savor all of life's flavor, long as you're living. Long as you're living, always remember. Folks who are lazy, are playing crazy. Better keep moving, keep on improving. You won't be hurried after you're buried. Live every minute and put yourself in it. Long as you're
long as you're living, always remember, you'll never be like, don't try to cheat like, sisters and brothers do unto others, love for enjoying, for destroying, never forget it or you'll regret it. Hi, this is Mossy Cruz. You're listening to In Tune with T-Mill, playing the best indie music worldwide. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. In Tune with T-Mill, another episode, Season 5, Paradox East Radio. I want to thank my guest, Virginia Shank. You guys can check her out at virginiashank.com. That is Virginia, S-C-H-E-N-C-K. Once again, that's Virginia, S-C-H-E-N-C-K dot com. Thank you also to Kate Smith. A couple shout outs, and you guys will find out why <laughs> once you tune into the show. Shout outs to Concrete Magazine, Highcandy dot com, Palisade Hills dot com, and the Cameron Adams Show. So make sure you guys log on to Facebook. Check us out on our Facebook page, Paradox East Radio. And, of course, it is college football Saturday, so I couldn't leave without uh, telling you guys, roll tide. You guys have an awesome evening. And if you, have any, if you have any questions or would like to be on the show, hit us up at info at paradoxeast.com. That is info at paradoxeast.com. Dot com. We play all types of music R&B, rock, any music of any genre As long as you're not hurting nobody Or as long as you, you can at least hold a tune And we will play it Alright Paradox East Radio Facebook and online So make sure you guys stay tuned And we will see you guys on the next episode of In Tune with T-Mill Peace Come out and play. You know we gotta do a remix, right? This is this is damn saying you ain't on the boat. Hey, this is Emily from Valentine. You are listening to In Tune with Tiva on V I M Radio Network. What's up with it? This is Malik Sakeep. This is Tiffany Janae from Organic Blood TV on YouTube. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Shy, and I'm with the greatest host in the world, T Mill. DJ Scoop the Party Life Saver, and I'm chilling with my man T Mill on T Mill Radio. You're rocking with T Mill on In Tune with T Mill. Reminding you to change the status quo with yes. T Mill Radio every Tuesday and Tuesday Thursday. And Thursday. You are listening to In Tune with T Mill.